Greetings everyone, the good tonight here with a review on the Condurp plate carrier. So this one has the uh, front and side sappy options, which I'll be getting to shortly, and I don't particularly care for it. Now, having already have had the LBT6094, you might be asking yourself why I bothered buying this, and the answer is simple. It's just enough quality to hold training plates in place so that I can run around and do crazy stuff in this, which I don't actually have the train plates in there right now, but I can run around and do nonsense in this condurp and the molly can rip and it can fall apart with its cheap Chinese quality, but it'll save all the wear and tear on my main plate carrier because this is straight for physical exercise, not actual gameplay. So that's why the importance of these side sappies was a big deal now. Let's start tearing down why this is bad. For one, this little tab here has a little button attachment on the back which is actually digging into my stomach right now. Somewhat unpleasant and additionally there's these side buckles down here which seem redundant considering there's a side part but apparently if you don't need to run side sappy plates you can just rip this out of here which I'll probably do in a second because these will pretty much hold the rest of it to your body so. How that all works, Velcro is terrible by the way, it's absolutely heinous. But that aside, you can pop this open here, and yeah, it'll fall down there, and yeah, you've got your buckles holding everything together here. Now, the way side sappies work, actually, can I rip this out? I'm going to rip this out. It's going to be that day. Ah. Ah. Now, this right here is a very awkward convoluted pouch for side sappies. So you pop this open and it gives you some room. It's not going to fit initially but at least they had the decent insert insight to include this little inserted velcro. So in your side sappies in there that will clip on that side. Go on. Now the way this attaches is it uses that weird grommet system that no one actually likes. There we go. Come on. I'll put it back later because I need this for exercise later today. Ah! There we go. So, you've got your ground range. Now this has the little eyelets for attachment, but unless you're, I don't know, 600 pounds, you're probably not going to need that. And this isn't even elastic. This is just like some standard string stuff. So, I put this through the, what was left of the molly attachments there and made that fit. So, if you're using side sappies, this is useful. Otherwise, to hell with it. So, oh, it's so bad. It is. They did try to do something about the ventilation with this mesh stuff, but I honestly don't know if it works. There's these attachments here if you want to run anything. And then this right here, but these actually don't offer anything really in name of support. And they're as generic as you can get. This is for running hoses through, but honestly, it just gets in the way. There's better ways to do it, so. You can tighten these and it'll hold it to your side so you've got side breathability but honestly you can just get a cover button that does that so eh. not to mention when these are undone and you're putting it on and off you have to grab this and then grab this over here and force them back together because otherwise they're not going to play nice with each other but yeah I mean despite its massive quality issues and discomfort it's decent enough to run in, run around it, and I mean, for exercise. These uh, two side molly pieces here are far too wide to tightly hold anything. Although, at least most of the stitching seems accurate, so you can at least attach pouches. It's not the worst ripoff brand in the world. But, yeah, so I generally just keep these straps loose. I don't even bother with them. I honestly might just cut them off here in the near future because I'm only going to use this with the cover bun because like I said it's for training. But yeah the back's got velcro on it and stuff too but it's nothing impressive, nothing to write home about so. Yeah it's at least it's only $80. I mean honestly I'd rather invest the money into a real play carrier but hey teach their own. Uh, as you can see right there, there's that little, this little nub is the least comfortable nub of all time. It wants you to strap this in there, like so. Uh, come on. 
It doesn't even, doesn't even attach well anyway, so once you attach that in there, but then you can't open this up to pull the cover button out, so I guess that's just if you're only using the buckles. But yeah, I mean, so much for side protection. There is this uh, map pouch here that's overly velcroed on. It's supposed to be a type of kangaroo pouch, but honestly, it's just that layer of velcro and everything else is whatever. So, yeah, um, there's also Molly through here, and there is these little tabs here to do things. They're trying to be like LBT, but honestly, these Velcro things are terrible. I'm going to cut these off too. But, I mean, you can make it work, I guess. There's these uh, shoulder straps here, so you can also unclip it from the top if you need to get it off. Your buddy can pull it off from the back, but honestly not really all that important or fantastic so yeah i mean it's not the worst you can do at least you can modify it and make it wearable then you could run around with weights and then use it as a training vest which i think most people actually do because i would not trust my life to this this will most likely get you killed so just food for thought but airsoft wise you're probably not going to die so okay there and yeah Physical training. I honestly wouldn't use it for more than physical training though, because airsoft, this is gonna get destroyed. These are gonna come ripped and everything, so. Eh, but yeah, so. It could be worse, I guess, is how I put it. So, there you go. Good Sir Knight's official review of the Condor plate carrier. It could be worse. Cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous.